Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blue Who Review. Today I'm going to be ranking every Doctor Who title sequence. Once again this was another tough one. There were some that I really, really, really do enjoy and I found it so difficult to pick a favourite between them. And then also there are some that I really don't enjoy that I found quite difficult to rank last and second last because some of them were equally as bad as each other for me. So yeah, this was another really tough one but there's definitely going to be some surprises in there. I think some people are going to be quite surprised to see where certain ones are ranked, uh, how high they are, how low they are. So yeah. But without no further ado, let's get straight into the video. At number 15, we have Sylvester McCoy's theme. Now, this one for me, I really don't enjoy. I find it really boring. And I, for me, it's sort of like, every time I watch it, I always can tell that Doctor was coming to an end, that the JNT era was really going down the pan. It just, it just for me, it's just really boring. I mean, I can appreciate it. I mean, there are some good things about it. Like, I know it was really ahead of its time at the time. And I know, like, some shots took whole days to render, so it was really ahead of its time. And it, and it is cool. I won't I won't lie, it is nice. But, and the asteroids as well, actually, when the music hits and the three asteroids hit the notes as well, that's, that's nice how it matches. But I just find it really boring. I think the music's a bit too slow. It's just, compared to what we had in Classic Who, I don't think it's that, that good. And compared to what we've got in New Who, I just really feel like it's not my cup of tea at all. So, yeah, at 15, it's going to have to be Sylvester McCoy's theme. At number 14 we have Matt Smith's theme. Now this one just beats the other one because this one I feel isn't that good either, especially for New Who as well. I mean, there is like things I do like about it. Like I like how at the end the TARDIS doors open onto the episode and then the episode begins. That's really cool. But then again, compared to what themes we had before in Doctor Who and compared to what Matt Smith had before in his title sequence, this one just feels like a downgrade. I understand they were trying something new, something they were doing at the time, but... It just feels really messy with all these shots and everything. It is a bit more exciting than Sylvester McCoy's theme, but just just a bit. So yeah, this just scrapes in at number 14. At 13, we have Colin Baker's themes, both themes. Now, these for me, I don't enjoy as much as the ones that come before. Again, I feel like the rainbow flares, they just hide the great theme that's behind it and they don't really add anything for me. Um, the music as well, I prefer the music that they had before for the Fifth Doctor. I just feel like this update wasn't really an update, it was more of like a downgrade sort of thing. So yeah, so I'm not really a fan of it. It's very 80s, which isn't a bad thing, but I just really don't like it at all. There's not much I really like about it. And I feel like as J&T's era went on, John Nathan Turner's era went on, I feel like it shows in his title sequences the decline. Like, I feel like the first title sequence was really good. Colin Baker started to go down and then Sylvester McCoy's for me just really wasn't good at all. So I really feel like these title sequences signify the decline of the JNT era. But yeah, this one isn't really enjoyable for me either. Better than the others, but still not really enjoyable. At number 12, we have John Pertwee's first title sequence. This one is good. I really like how they exploit how Doctor Who was in colour and they made it very colourful, which is obviously a clever idea. I really like that. But then again, it's not as good as the others. It's just sort of like... A different version of the second Doctor's theme in colour. So it is good but nothing special. So at number 12 it's going to be John Pertwee's first theme. At number 11 we have Patrick Troughton titles. This one's really good. I really like how it's less reserved than the other one. It feels much more like upbeat and up to date as well for the the later 60s. It is a really good theme. I do enjoy it. I like how um the, the, his face appears in it as well and other things about it as well. It's really enjoyable this one. But then again, you can't really beat the original. I feel like the original is better. So yeah, this one comes before that one. And this is why this one's at number 11. At number 10, we have Tom Baker's first title sequence. This one is good, but there's a couple things that I really don't like about it. Starting with the TARDIS. I really don't like that big bulbous blue light at the top. I just feel it looks really stupid and silly. It looks nothing like the light on top and it just feels like really cheap. And my eyes are always drawn to it, but in a bad way. Also, just towards the end of the title sequence, like the black that you can see in the title sequence at the end, I feel like that just, it just adds nothing for me. It's too big and takes up too much of the screen. And I don't know, I just really don't like it. So there's some faults that I would find with this one. At number nine, we have Peter Capaldi's title sequence. This one is good again. I know it was based upon a fan-made theme, which is really cool, a fan-made title sequence. So that's really cool. Again, it's a good one, but it doesn't spark as much excitement as the others, and I feel like compared to what's left on the list, it couldn't be ranked any higher, but it's still a good title sequence. At number eight, we have the TV movie title sequence. Now, this one will probably be a bit controversial, but I do really like it. I feel like it really matches the movie and the movie theme quite well. 
I like how sometimes if you watch closely, it's almost as if you're watching the 2005 theme, which I believe they did slightly base it upon that, which is really cool, is in the title sequence itself. So that's really cool. And there are some like good shots in it as well. Also, the shot of the TARDIS coming close to the screen and then going back out, I feel like is quite iconic. I feel like I've seen that a lot in my life. So it is quite an iconic title sequence, even though it isn't actually part of the BBC Doctor Who, but it's still really cool, so I, that's why I rank it here. At number seven, we have John Pertwee's second title sequence. Now, this one I do really like. I feel like it just comes to show how good the TARD sequence was, because if you think about it, look how far the TARD sequence came in just 10 years, from 1963 to 1973. I feel like this is really a good TARD sequence and really advanced for its time. My only fault with it is I feel like they should have used a picture of John Pertwee's face instead of his full body. I feel like that would have worked better. But apart from that, it's a great theme. And if they had his face instead of his body, I feel like this would have aged a lot better as well. But it has aged quite well and it is still quite a cool theme. At number six, we have William Hartnell's title sequence. Again, the original, it's really cool. And credit to Delia Derbyshire for making it. It's such an iconic, great theme, well ahead of its time. So it's really good. And I remember when I was watching um, William Hart Hartnell episodes, when I was watching them on DVD, I remember certain times where I wasn't enjoying the story or I was finding it hard to follow along because they can be quite long sometimes. I always remember listening to the theme and it get me straight in the mood for it, even though I wasn't too excited for a certain story or episode. So yeah, it's such a good theme. So yeah, definitely at number six would be William Hartnell's The Original. At number five, we have David Tennant's second theme. Now they're all becoming very difficult to rank, but I really do like this one. It is really exciting. I mean, I don't really need to explain this one. This is probably a lot of people's favourites anyway. It's such a good theme. But for me, I do prefer the others. But this is such a good theme. And from now on, the rankings are starting to get a lot more difficult. At number four, we have Jodie Whittaker's theme. Again, they're getting really difficult to rank. I really do enjoy this one. If I had to fault it, there's no TARDIS. Her face isn't in it. And sometimes it could feel a bit short. But apart from that, it's such a great theme. I like how towards the end... You're like sucked into it and then push back out and then we sort of walk through the stars to the to the titles. It's such a really cool sequence. I love the colours and I feel like it aged very well as well. As her era went on, the title sequence got better. So yeah, this is a really good one as well. One of my favourites. And number three, we have Matt Smith's first title sequence. Again, they're very close, all of these together. Really close indeed. I really do like this one. I really like the lightning. I feel like the lightning in the in the in the vortex really works. I like how it hits the tides and makes it spin. And then I like how we got the lightning in one half of the tide sequence and the fire in the other. I like how the logo then becomes the TARDIS, which is really cool as well. The music's great. It's it's a really, really good theme, one of the best. It's just really, really good. But again, I'm just having to rank these of how I like them just slightly more. So yeah, at number three will be Matt Smith's first theme. At number two, we have Peter Davison's title sequence. Now this one I really love. I really feel it's J&T in his peak as well. I really love the title sequence. I love how the stars seem to go on and on forever, which is really cool. I love how the stars also collect when it comes to the face and then the logo as well and how it disperses afterwards. The music I really enjoy as well. This title sequence I just feel has aged really well for me. It's such a great title sequence. Yeah, I just love it all and it brings back fond memories of me watching it on DVD when I was young of The Five Doctors. It's just a really great title sequence and I always enjoy it when I hear it. And then at number one, we have Christopher Eccleston's and David Tennant's first. Now, this one I really enjoy more. Again, it's very similar to David Tennant's second, obviously. But for me, the music, it just brings back so many childhood memories and I feel like the music is really good. I really do like David Tennant's second, but I do actually feel like this one is better for me anyway. It just brings back so much nostalgia and I do think it's really good anyway. I like how we're flying through with the TARDIS and then it stops and does a 360 and then back into the action again. I just really love it. I have no faults with this one and this definitely is my first. So at number one will be Christopher Eccleston's slash David Tennant's first. Great, and that's all the title sequences ranked. Again, it was really difficult picking the, the ones I really don't like and then picking my favourites. Towards like the last five and six, they were so close. They could have gone anyway, some, some of them. I really had to really try hard to pick what ones went what because otherwise I'd have, I would have had a, a joint first for six of them. But no, all of them are really good. Every title sequence has something different and they are really enjoyable. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your rankings are for the title sequences, what ones you agree with, what ones you don't. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.